Hey everyone, Dr. Mark Leonard here, the happiness dude, founder of the happiness breakthrough. How are you today? Oh man, today's been amazing for me. Uh, and, and I want to talk about a principle that is vital to your success. If you are going to take your business to the next level, if you are going to be a better, more effective leader, you need to practice these three steps today. And just as a reminder, we're talking about the 20 high performance habits to find your freedom. This one is seeking to serve. Servant leadership has been around, well, it's been around for thousands of years, but it was made popular back in 1977 by a little paper that was written. And now it seems to be the big thing. Like, I want a servant leader. And people are not sure what that means. So I thought I would give you three ideas that you can implement today that will really, really help you be a more effective leader. Now, this is going to be great if you are a uh, an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, if you have a side hustle, if you are a leader in an organization, you need this. Number one, call people names. Yes, I'm actually saying that I want you to call people names. Now, the one that you should use is based on this illustration. Last Christmas, my wife Becky and I, we went to Target, one of our absolute favorite places to go at Christmas time. <laughs> it was crazy and it was late at night and as we were getting ready to check out the checker just looked exhausted she was so tired and i just looked at her and i said reagan thank you for all that you're doing thank you for being here tonight so that we could shop and she stopped she stopped and she said and she teared up no one uses my name and I tear up thinking about it because it was so emotional. Right? It was so emotional. No one uses my name. And she was just filled with gratitude. I haven't seen her since. I don't know if I would recognize her on the street, but for that brief moment, I used her name, and it was so powerful. And I just want to encourage you, if you go out to lunch, if you go to talk with people, Use their name. Just yesterday, my wife and I were shopping. Uh, yes, we tend to do that a lot. And I, I've made it a practice that whenever we're there, I used the checker's name. And I used her name. And she said, wow, you said it correctly. And she was shocked. It is that human connection that people desire to have. So that is the very first habit that you need is call people names. And the name that you shall call them by is their name. That's right. The second habit that will really, really help you to be a better servant leader is to stop comparing. Now, this has multi-levels to it. The first is stop comparing yourself to everyone else for crying out loud. Stop it already. I give you permission. You do not need to compare yourself to somebody else because you are unique, and beautiful, and amazing the way that you are. And just because someone else has done more, done less, or done the same, it doesn't matter. This game of life is not about who wins. It's about you. It's about you winning. It's about you being your best. Stop comparing yourself to everyone else around you. If you can do that, you'll actually raise your happiness. The third thing that you can do is to truly connect with and to connect people. So connect with people. Actually have conversations and get to know them. Find out what they're going through right now. Find out their struggles. Find out how they're doing. And then the, the next thing that you could do with that is ask how you can serve them. Is there someone that you know of that maybe could help them? It's amazing when you ask someone, hey, what are you working on right now? And how can I help you? People go, oh, boy, do you know a graphic designer? I do. I do. I know a great graphic designer. Let me send her your way. Do you know anyone that does marketing? 
I do. I do. She's fantastic, and you need to talk with her. Or do you know a copywriter? Oh, I do. He is amazing. He's over in New Jersey, and he will do everything he can to help you succeed. Connect people. And that's one of the great things that we have going on right now is if you go to thehappinessbreakthrough.com, if you click on the link that's just below, Becky and I are doing a group coaching session. And that's one of the things that we're going to do is if you are an entrepreneur, a side hustler, if you're growing your business, if you are a doctor, a lawyer, if you are in direct sales or multi-level marketing, whatever the case may be, let's band together and learn from one another what's working right now in this new world, in this new era, how are they growing their business and how can we connect with each other? Because if you join that call, that's just going to be great value for you. Wouldn't you like to learn from maybe your coach? You want to learn, hey, how are you uh, getting clients? Or maybe you uh, sell uh, Octavia or some other product. How are you right now marketing, right? That's why we're going to have uh, that um, that group coaching. So make sure you go to thehappinessbreakthrough.com or click on the link down below and you'll be able to sign up for that. That'll be on August 26th. We cannot wait to see you there. Okay, hopefully those three aspects of seeking to serve will make you a better leader because right now the world needs you to lead as your best. Talk with you soon.